I believe that uh, one sh we should know that there is a complete, there should be a complete separation between recreational cannabis and medicinal cannabis. And the reason is that in medicinal cannabis, or people that uh, take cannabis as a drug, or people that do research on medicinal cannabis, have to know that it has to follow medical regulations. A patient should have to know the exact amount of material he's getting. He should know how to get it, and uh, he should be in constant contact with, uh, with a physician. Recreational cannabis is a social issue. Uh, decisions on uh, recreational cannabis have to be made by society, not necessarily, or uh, not even at all, on medical grounds. The reason is that uh, they're two different things. So we should not mix them together. We should try to move the medical cannabis as much as possible towards the medical reasons for using a drug. And that's what's happening in Israel. We're changing it. We're not there yet. We're changing it. I hope that uh, we shall be there within the next uh, few months. So a patient uh, who, uh, who is allowed to get cannabis for his specific disease, not for any disease, for his specific disease, whether it's pain, it's a gastrointestinal problem like Crohn's, or whether it's anything else that's approved, like epilepsy, for example, the person or his parents, her parents, <coughs> should know exactly what mixture he's getting because cannabis, medical cannabis is a mixture. It's a mixture not just of THC and CBD, but also of a lot of other compounds, including some terpenes. So a person should know as much as possible on what is the drug that he's taking. We started about the recreational use. And uh, many, often I'm asking the parliament meetings about um, our opinion about recreational use of cannabis. And my usual answer is the same. I mean, we are physicians. We do not deal with social decisions. So uh, kind of recreational use is a social decision which should be made by the parliament, the government, not by us, not by physicians. At present, we are working, for example, on uh, brain trauma. Uh, we found many years ago, together with, Dr. with Professor Esti Shohami, that cannabinoids help in brain trauma in mice. It's a little bit difficult to do brain trauma experiments in humans. So uh, it has been done in mice and it helps. Uh, specific compounds, whether they are the natural ones, the one that we make, the endogenous cannabinoid, <coughs> or whether they are THC or cannabidiol from the plant, all these help in different ways. There are also additional compounds, surprisingly, which are found in our body, which resemble structurally at least some of the other compounds I mentioned. And these compounds also help with brain trauma. So there are no drugs in uh, helping with brain trauma at the moment. I assume that we can help in this particular field. 40% of our patients today are oncology patients, suffering from pain, from metastatic pain, for neuropathy resulted from the treatment with excellent results. Sometimes I'm a little bit uh, confused when I have to present this. And I, when I presented the results in the parliament, some of the parliament members, they were so uh, mad at me as a representative. Um, why don't you allow treatment of cannabis for every oncology patient in Israel? It cures cannabis. And I have to cool them a little. I'm not sure it cures. But I'm sure it helps. Basically symptomatic. Later on, when we'll see the results of the new researches, I hope, even more. Uh, Crohn's disease, which is an uh, IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, I was diagnosed four, uh, four or five years ago, uh, and I'm currently treated with medical marijuana with some other drugs. Um, so my personal experience as a, as a user, um, I, I can't really say for, for 100% percent that uh, I'm better because of the medical cannabis but I can say that I'm very well balanced overall and 
before I started using medical cannabis, I wasn't. So it's not a scientific proof, but that's the fact. Uh, regarding what my grandfather said, uh, in medical school, we now learn um, more about cannabis, especially in the field of pain, um, comparing to other uh, pain drugs, such as opiates and stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm confident that uh, our uh, class of doctors to be will know more about cannabis and will be more involved in this industry, which is the biggest problem with that physicians have with medical cannabis. When they prescribe medical cannabis to a patient, he can get something, something that has 25% THC and none of all CBD or the opposite or in, the, or in between. And this is even before we started talking about the other compounds which are still in research. When you say medical cannabis, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? And he said, that's exactly the problem. That is, this is exactly the, the problem that I'm facing. I need to know, before the double blind, before everything else, I need to know that I'm prescribing something to a patient that he will get the same thing every time, which is not, currently not exactly the situation. You cannot give uh, a patient just something, it's there. It's medical cannabis. Medical cannabis is not a medical term, it's just a general term. We should know exactly where we stand. And we should try to push uh, those that prepare the drugs, the growers or those that prepare the drugs, to have an every single type of preparation, whether it's an oil, whether it's uh, um, for smoking, whatever, the exact amount of at least of this at this point of THC and CBD, maybe later other things, but at least these two, because otherwise we are, we are not there. We are not in medicine. This is not the way to do it.